Okay, um, awesome night uh, here for our football team and I think for Arizona fans everywhere. I thought it was fantastic that so many of our fans came out to this game. It seemed like we had a really good crowd uh, here and this is a really special win for our football team. Um, I've coached in a lot of games here. I know how tough it is. I know what the environment is. And I have the utmost respect for the University of Utah football team and Coach Kyle Whittingham. Um, to me, he's one of the best there is. So to come out here and play the way we did, um, I thought our defense was incredible. If you take the four down stops with the turnovers, I think I, you know we would count that as six, which is just what you have to do to, to win a game like that on the road. And then I thought the offense kept answering. I thought um, we were able to sustain some drives. Tyler Loop, what a great player he is. I mean, holy smokes. Um, you know, he's probably still upset about that last kick, but I mean, just what a weapon, the ability to swing at kicks from that far out with confidence. Um, and then I thought, you know, lots of guys made plays, which was really fun to see. We found some run game, which I thought was helpful, try and keep us uh, efficient on first and second down. And then, um, and then made some big plays, right? And that's, that's some of those big plays, um, you know, from people other than TMAC, which is kind of what we were looking for, um, just so that we could compliment, like, what a great player he is. Um, so we're just trying to help that. And I just I know Fita is just such an awesome football player and leader and the way he, I mean, the, the ball, he, the two balls he threw to, to Key and Burnett were incredible. The one on the sideline and then the deep ball for the touchdown, just fantastic. Um, you know, and then the defense kept answering, answering the call. I thought our D-line was outstanding against a really physical offensive line of theirs. So this was just a really special night. And uh, I love this team. You know, uh, this was an awesome win for us. Justin, uh, what do you think was different defensively tonight? That's a good question. I, you know, I think, um, I thought we had great, like, pictures of effort, like guys playing hard, you know, in the first three games. But I think the, maybe a little bit more discipline, more detailed, which is kind of something we talked about a lot in the past, you know, two weeks. Um, that was something we felt hurt us against Kansas State. And kind of just the really making it simple and drilling down and guys focusing on doing their job and doing it with <clears throat> just extreme detail and effort. And I thought that showed up. And then going back to the, the double question. Sorry. Here we go. <laughs> going back to the, the play call and getting others involved, um, what was different about the offensive play call and how you guys approached that? Well, that's been something that we've been just like, you know, working through as a staff all year. And I think everybody contributed contributes to that process and I and I really thought that um, you know having an extra week to prepare helps right um, but I thought we the the thing that was good was that we just gave ourselves a chance uh, to avoid too many third and longs which is had, had been a challenge for us in previous weeks yes Fred, it feels like three and one with this win as opposed to two and two with, with two three losses is a pretty big swing I know it's early but like do you get a sense that this is could be kind of a pivotal win at this stage of the year? Well, I hope it is. You know what I mean? I thought one of the best things we did as a football team is that we attacked practice on a level that I thought we hadn't uh, so far this season. Uh, this was our best week of practice, and it's not close. And, you know, I think that's one of those things that I'm trying to get um, young men to, to focus on just right now and the process is required to play good football. Um, I thought our coaching staff did an incredible job, you know, in all three phases, because um, all three phases contributed to that win. So um, I think that that helped. Your defense looked very aggressive. I mean, you've got seven tackles per loss, eight pass breakups, which is, seems like a really high number. How, how important was it for your team to be really physical on the back end? And there were a lot of simultaneously defensive back hitting the receiver and knocking the ball away. Yeah, I, you know, I thought it was great. It was great to see Manny play so well. You know, I thought that was really exciting. Um, and, and I think that, you know, um, we do have great leadership back there, right, with, with the Stukes and Gunner and Dalton, uh, those guys. And then, you know, it was great to see Bobo, you know, smiling and having fun playing, you know. And so I just think it's really, you know, Genesis, you know, had an interception. Um, it's a really fun group of kids. I think, you know, Coach Viney and Coach Aquino do a fantastic job coaching that group. And uh, it was nice to see that show up in a big-time game and a big-time moment like it did tonight. Justin, uh, what does it say about just kind of the, the guts of your team? You know, because Utah scored there. It looked like they had the crowd behind them. And 
they're getting some momentum. So for Noah to make those big throws, what does it say about him in the offense? Well, I think that's you know, uh, you know, I think we always talk about how special Noah Fafita is, but I, you, you know, it's not. Uh, I don't think you really can see it all the time like we do. You know, um, he's just got incredible poise. Uh, he always has a smile on his face. He's a fierce competitor, right? So when he screws something up, he's really upset. Um, but, you know, they scored that touchdown and then he just comes out and executes at a high level and, you know, creates with his feet and finds somebody down the field and then throws a, I don't know how long that ball was, but 40 yards on the run, you know, maybe more with the end zone, 50 yard ball, like in, in like a perfect spot, right? Like Keen caught that one right out of bounds. So. The kid's special in every way, as a young man, as a teammate, as a leader, and as a quarterback. Jordan, with that. Hey, Coach, we you know, all know the inconsistencies that, that college kickers can have, but and you mentioned Tyler's game. Um, how much of a luxury is it to have a guy that you know you, you can put him in a lot of different situations and he'll probably be successful for you? Yeah, no, he's incredible. Like. Um, I've, I've never been on a football team where like if the ball's at the 50, you're like, you want to kick it? You know, like that's just like an insane conversation. Um, but that speaks to his talent and the, the hard work he puts in. And, uh, you know, we're going to give him a chance to continue to make big plays for us like he did. And, and the kickoffs too, right? The kickoffs, you know, I, like people were catching those like in the stands, you know. You talked a lot about already just in these five minutes, we talked about fun smiles on their faces. Is this the most fun that the team's had this year? And throughout the game, even when it got tough, are they still smiling on the sideline? Yeah, they were. I, you know, that was something that we kind of really tried to focus on on the, on the bye week. Um, I think for this football team, I think um, I think young people everywhere, you know, there's so much pressure. There's so much pressure to perform. And, you know, it's, it's the reality of the world we live in. Um, but, like, this game needs to be fun, right? And like you have to find ways to make it fun in the work environment, the practice environment, you know, so that when they're out there playing, they're trying to kind of forgot about the pressure and they remember why they started playing football in the first place. And um, so that's what we talked about a lot. And uh, and tonight was fun, boy. It was awesome. Uh, with you know the the loss and the bye week and then the playing issue getting here, what can you say about the adversity that your team faced and how they were able to overcome that? Well, I thought it was, a, you know, it was it was awesome. You know, we had Coach Tommy's wife, Nancy Kincaid, on the trip, and she was, you know, said to me and, and to others, like, this is a Coach Tommy moment if there ever was one. Because uh, he loved that kind of stuff, you know. Um, but it was really special. And I and then I also think, you know, Lauren Bossler, Andrew Sims, Ben Thenis, our athletics director, like so many people, like, had to like snap into action when that happened just to get us here, you know, like um, we were eating, you know, pasta and cheeseburgers at 1.45 in the morning, you know, and, and, and also thank you to the people at the Marriott um, because all those cooks and all those people stayed there and like kept cooking the food and had it prepared for us, which is just awesome. So um, I thought everybody made the most of a complicated situation and the, the people that did the best part of it were our players. Right, they were like, let's go. Yeah, this is, we knew this was, there was gonna be some adversity on this trip. We didn't know it'd be the flight, but it turned out to be that way, um, you know, to start it off. So I think it put us in a good headspace. Kyle? Yeah, everyone else might know, but, but what exactly happened with the plane? What time did you guys finally get to the hotel? Uh, we got to the hotel at, at one a.m. So like it was a it was just a mechanical issue that yeah well it was uh you know, actually I don't know I heard something about a tire but I'm you know it's kind of like a thing you're like glad they figured it out before we took off you know so we're good um yes yeah, so we, we went back to the facility we left our facility I called I had my team meeting at 9 p.m. in Tucson in our team facility so it was awesome how about those kids like how amazing right kids went to bed at, like I went to bed at like 2:45 and you know those kids just handled it I'm like so proud of them. Uh, what was your, your message to the team after the game? Uh, we said a lot of stuff. Uh, I'm not sure how much it's good for public consumption. Um, really, the biggest thing was that um, I was so proud of how they just kept believing in each other. And I think that's one of those things that football is just the best team game ever created, in my opinion. And as long as, you're, as, long as it's not about you, 
as long as you're playing for the guy next to you and not yourself all the time, you have a chance. You have a chance. And I thought they did that so well tonight. And I think it showed up in how we collectively played in all three phases. We've been talking about that all season, right? Like trying to put a complete game together. We'd see times where the offense was playing really well, the defense was playing really well, a kicking game, but we had yet to put it all together. And I think we did that tonight on the road against a really good football team. And then well, why do you think? Double question. <laughs> uh, the first three games you struggled against running quarterbacks. You guys did a pretty solid job. What do you think led to your success against Isaac Wilson? I, I think guys just being great with their discipline, whatever, whatever their job description was. Um, I think sometimes, you know, football players want to make a play. But sometimes when we make a play, it, we lose contain or, or, you know, we break our route off too soon or whatever it is. It can be anything. You know, we, we cut it back too soon as a running back or something like that. So um, I think that we did a great job just being disciplined and do it, starting with doing our job and then doing it with fan, you know, fantastic effort. Last question, Jordan. You mentioned Coach Tony. What, what do you think he'd think of this game, both positives and constructive feedback for you? That's a good question. Uh, Coach Tony would, would I, he would be really excited about this one because he knows how hard it is to come into this stadium and win against a team and a coaching staff that has had as much success and is as talented and is as good as Utah is. Um, so I think he'd feel really good about that. Um, he would, like he'd find stuff to like, he'd cuss me out about like uh, the penalty or the false start penalty or holding the clock for too long. And you know, when we kill the play or uh, you know, um, like the stuff, like the little stuff that and I'm in this way as a coach too, probably because of my time with him, but like the things that really upset me are the things that are, with, that are in your control, right? Like, in the, and we talked about this in our press conference this week, like a holding penalty or a PI, like you're playing football, man, like stuff happens, but like the stuff that's in your control is the stuff that really gets my attention and, and that's what he would have been. So we, he probably would have been on me about that.